Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install iTunes on your computer. So anybody who owns an Apple iPod or Shuffle or iPhone is more than likely very well aware of the iTunes application. And even if you're not, you probably have a Windows or Macintosh device that is capable of running it. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to download and install iTunes for your Windows computer. So we're going to jump right into it, and we're going to start by opening up a web browser. And then once we have Google open, we're just going to type in iTunes download. So pretty straightforward. One of the first suggestions that comes up should say iTunes, download iTunes now, and the domain should say www.apple.com. You want to make sure you download it from the official site, which is always recommended. Okay, so on the left side there should be a button that says download now. You don't need to fill in any of this information up here, I don't believe it's necessary. So we're going to select download now. We're going to save the setup file somewhere that we can easily access. I'm going to save it to the desktop. It is about 191 megabytes, so it's definitely not small. So just be patient, this will take a couple minutes depending on your internet speeds. Okay, so the download is complete. We're going to open this executable up. I'm going to minimize that of our web browser now. Okay, so it should say welcome to iTunes and it should say to get started installing iTunes, click next. That's what we're going to do. So I'd recommend keeping most of this stuff default about adding to the desktop, using the default audio player and automatically update iTunes and other Apple software. If the default language is not correct, you can click on this little box and select the right one. And you also change destination folder. Once you've ensured all of this is your ideal setup, click on install. My receiver user account control window and in that case from Apple you want to click on yes. Receive another user account control, select yes again.
Okay, so it should say congratulations, iTunes has been successfully installed on your computer. You can keep this box checked to open iTunes after the installer exit. So click on finish to finish up this installation here. Click on agree to accept the software licensing terms agreement. So this is basically a privacy thing. Do you want to allow Apple to send details about your library to Apple? I'm going to select no thanks. And there we go, guys. You can sort by songs, albums, and whatnot. So at this point, you can just sign into the store, and you could just use iTunes like you normally would. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.